trusted types help prevent cross-site scripting vulnerabilities. Form elements get an important makeover. There's a new way to detect memory leaks. And the native file system API starts a new origin trial with added functionality. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 83. DOM-based cross-site scripting is one of the most common security vulnerabilities on the web. It can be easy to accidentally introduce one to your page. Trusted types can help prevent these kinds of vulnerabilities because they require you to process the data before passing it in to a potentially dangerous function. Take inner HTML, for example. With trusted types turned on, if I try to pass a string, it'll fail with a type error because the browser doesn't know if it can trust the string. Instead, I either need to pass in a trusted type or create the element and use a pen child. Before you turn on trusted types, you'll want to identify and fix any violations using a report-only CSP header. Then, once you've got everything buttoned up, you can turn it on properly. Complete details are on web.dev. We use HTML form controls every day, and they are the key to so much of the web's interactivity. They're easy to use, they've got built-in accessibility, and they're familiar to our users. The styling of form controls can be inconsistent across browsers and operating systems. And we frequently have to ship a number of CSS rules just to get a consistent look across devices. I've been really impressed by the work that Microsoft has been doing to modernize the appearance of form controls. Beyond the nicer visual styles, they bring better touch support and better accessibility, including improved keyboard support. The new form controls have already landed in Microsoft Edge and are now available in Chrome 83. For more information, see the post linked in the description. Starting an origin trial in Chrome 83, performance.measureMemory is a new API that makes it possible to measure the memory usage of your page and detect memory leaks. Memory leaks are easy to accidentally introduce. For example, forgetting to unregister an event listener, capturing objects from an iframe, not closing a worker, objects and arrays, and so on. Memory leaks lead to pages that appear slow and bloated to users. There's a great post on web.dev with all the details of the new API. The native file system API started a new origin trial in Chrome 83 with support for writable streams and the ability to save file handles. Writable streams make it much easier to write to a file and because it's a stream, you can easily pipe responses from one stream to another. Saving file handles to IndexedDB allows you to store state or remember what files the user was working on. For example, you can keep a list of recently edited files or open the last file that the user was working on, and so on. You'll need a new origin trial token to use these features. So check out my updated article on web.dev with all the details and how you can get your new origin trial token. Chrome now supports the Barcode Detection API, which provides the ability to detect and decode barcodes. And the new CSS at supports function provides feature detection for CSS selectors. Of course, there's plenty more in Chrome 83. All the details, including links, docs, specs, are in the updates post linked in the description. Be sure to check out the latest Chrome DevTools video to learn what's new in DevTools. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm Pete LePage, and I need a haircut. But as soon as Chrome 84 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.